<laughs> now, there seems to be this idea that, uh, from the opposing benches, that we in the SNP are against nuclear weapons for some kind of romanticised reason. But the reality is, we're against nuclear weapons and renewing Trident for very logical reasons. So, first of all, we have to remember the fact that fundamentally it is a weapon. We have already established the fact that we would not fire this weapon first. We would not launch this weapon. So the only time that we are saying that we will ever use this weapon is if somebody has a nuclear strike against us. And to be quite frank, that means we're all dead anyway. And if I'm dying, I don't care if we're sending one back or not. I'm more worried about the one that's coming towards me. Now, we keep hearing this phrase again and again that we can't predict the future. But surely then, if we're going to make defence policy, then we have to think very wisely about what is it that we are deterring against? What are the threats that we face? Now, the National Security Strategy 2015 set out the Tier 1 threats faced by the UK. International terrorism, climate change and cybercrime. What terrorist attack have nuclear weapons protected us from, have protected France from? Zero. They've got hee-haw to do with climate change or to do with cybercrime. So then this comes back to, oh, it's a deterrent. But only nine countries in the world have these nuclear weapons. So how come the other 180 plus countries don't feel the need to have this deterrent? Absolutely. So what other arguments are there for keeping Trident? And we keep hearing that we need to keep it for jobs. Yes, we have skilled engineers, scientists and workers that work very, very hard and are very, very talented. But why don't we use the billions of pounds that we're proposing to spend on this to invest in our energy sectors, in our engineering sectors? Why don't we actually use them in our renew renewable energy sectors? Because in actual fact, climate change is a tier one threat to us. So why don't we spend that money trying to tackle that? So if they're not a security necessity and they're not necessary to save jobs, it begs the question, what are they for? And the fact of the matter is, that all this is really about uh, the UK maintaining a permanent place on the UN Security Council. Yeah, yeah. And as the member for uh, Tonbridge and Malling, uh, who is unfortunately not in his seat, made very clear in his speech, the fact of the matter is these weapons serve no other purpose than to satisfy the ego of the British establishment. Yeah. This is about us putting our stamp on a world that we are isolating ourselves from more and more. Now, I have sat in this chamber as my honourable friend put very eloquently before me, I've sat in this chamber too many times and heard that we can't afford to look after disabled, we can't afford to look after unemployed, we can't afford to pay pensions on time. But we are the government that are making the difficult choices and all the people who have been making that argument for austerity are now the very same people who are telling us that we can afford to write a blank check yeah, 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 for these yeah, useless exactly. weapons so and for what? It's to set, preserve Westminster's self-indulgent image of importance. This is all part of the government's long-term economic sham. Yeah. That's what this is. But lastly, I want to give some context to the reality of what this means. In my constituency, Paisley Gilmore Street is the busiest railway in Scotland after Glasgow and Edinburgh. And it's also one of the main routes that nuclear waste is transported out. The new used nuclear rods come through my constituency, not at the dead of night, but during the day. And it, they're during the day when people are standing on the platform waiting to go to work, to go to Greenock or wherever else. And if there is a mistake with one of these, if there is an accident, it is the equivalent of a dirty bomb. So I would put it to the government, Mr Speaker, that they and their obsession with uh, nuclear weapons is actually one of the greatest threats against my constituents. Yeah. 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 Yeah.